Welcome guys on a beautiful day on the Spanish Peninsula and welcome to another episode of Pacifica Ripples Shop Local. Super excited about now we're in December and it's a festive season so lots of stuff to talk about showing you different kind of businesses but first I want to tell you about something that I'm really excited about. Uh, we worked uh, on that with the kids with special project and it's this kind of crazy contraption. Um, I dubbed the Holly switch. So what it is, apparently according to the kids, you see he's got all kinds of wirings and capacitors and wiring. Um, yeah, it can actually turn on the, the Christmas season. So I'm not sure if it's really gonna work, but uh, why don't we give it a shot and see if it works. So here you go, here goes nothing. Whoa, that's right. Holy crap. Let me try that again. Whoa, that's better. Okay, one more time. I don't know, maybe I did it wrong. Let's give it one more shot here. And go. Wow, it worked. Check this out guys. This is the coolest thing. <laughs> it totally worked. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Whoops, that was the airport runway. <laughs> that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm on my way now tonight uh, to see Morgan Shaw. She is the executive director of the Sydney BIA. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's let's listen to what she's got to say about the amazing plans that uh, the Downtown Sydney Business Association has for Christmas. Uh, there's uh, sleigh rides, there's a whole slew of things that they do. They did have to adjust um, to different measures for COVID, um, but they also have amazing gift certificates. So that sounds pretty exciting what's going on there. And uh, as for us, we'll be shooting right through the Christmas season and um, uh, surprising local shoppers with uh, our shop local gift certificates. Obviously, we'll do it all safely. Um, but uh, yeah, hope to see you downtown Sydney or on the Saanich Peninsula. We're shooting different locations also, Saanich and Brentwood Bay, North Saanich. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the show and we'll see you soon. Christmas this year is that we'll be able to accomplish the same community feel that we've seen in previous years. Um, looks a lot different without our parade and our breakfast with Santa and some of those key community events, but we're confident that through um, additional lights that we've been installing and programs that we've been putting in place that we'll be able to bring some Christmas magic to the streets and especially to the community who've been so supportive over the past um, well, feels like feels like a year with COVID, but uh, for the past six or eight months here. So for Christmas uh, in Sydney this year, we were really trying to focus on an open-ended event approach. So we had quite a robust um, lighting infrastructure program that was designed and has been implemented throughout the past four to six weeks here, just wrapping up. Um, so it's really made Sydney a, a special place just to be, to walk around, to experience. Um, we did an installation called Candy Cane Lane, and that was done in Garden Court. So that's a fun spot to check out. Lots of great contests. Specifically, we've got Sydney Sweepstakes, which is a holiday cheer campaign. We aimed at encouraging people to shop local here in Sydney. And with that um, comes the chance to win a $500 shopping spree in Sydney and an opportunity to pledge $500 to the small business of their choice. So we have six in total. Um, so we're excited to be able to offer that to the community. So all in all, lots to look at through Sydney this year and open-ended in the sense that people can visit at any time um, and with their comfort levels being met. 
Yeah, we've definitely seen an incredible amount of community support throughout this year, COVID especially. It's really encouraged people to come together in a way that I haven't ever seen before. So businesses supporting businesses and then of course our local community supporting our business community. I think there is an importance that has been seen on what makes up our economy and so much of that is small business. So it's um, been nothing but encouraging to see the support between businesses and again coming through the community in all aspects. Certainly from and on behalf of the Sydney business community um, and the Sydney BIA, the amount of local support has been overwhelming this year. Um, we have seen our local residents step up in a way that is quite miraculous. Sydney has remained somewhat insulated from COVID-19 and its impacts. Of course, there's some that are feeling it more than others, but it's quite something to see that so many of our small businesses are faring pretty well considering the circumstances. So a big thank you from the business community um, as we weather this storm together.